Hi Arlo community, I'm Tom from Arlo's product team and I'm here to fill you in on our latest release. Let's go. A month or two ago, we announced our shiny new integration with Zoom. It's awesome that so many of you are now using it to navigate COVID-19. As our customers have made the switch from the classroom to live online, a common theme we've heard is that you can't just take a one or two day course and deliver it like for like over Zoom. Spending eight hours in front of a screen is way too long to hold a learner's attention. Instead, you need to break it up into a number of shorter, high impact online sessions. Now you can do this on Arlo. You could already manage multi-session face-to-face events in Arlo. In this release, you can now do the same with webinars. So now in a single Arlo course, you can add multiple webinar and classroom based sessions spaced out however you need them. For each webinar session, it's super easy to create a Zoom meeting. Or if you're using a different system, paste in a custom webinar URL. You can mix and match too. You can give attendees the choice of whether they attend in person or live online while keeping everything centralized in a single Arlo course. Finally, you can use our Moodle plugin to add self-paced e-learning, meaning a single course contains face-to-face -face webinar and e-learning components. It's blended learning at its best. In our last video, we gave a sneak peek of our new Zapier integration, which allows you to automate data flows between Arlo and over 2,000 other business applications. In just a few clicks, you can set up workflows for your data to be automatically synced to and from Arlo. No code required. To help you get started, we've built a library of Zap templates that you can adopt and adapt. Our recent webinar, which you can still view as a recording, provides detailed instructions about how to do this. Or, if you're short of time, we offer professional services to set up the whole process for you. Taking a step back, by having all your systems connected into Arlo, your team can focus on building a great training business, not manually moving data around. Now this feature is still in beta, which means you can get in and have a play while we iron out the last few bugs. We plan to have the production version out in the coming weeks. Finally, I wanted to quickly touch on how we decide which features to build next and the role that you play. We recently introduced a new tool which gives much better visibility about what we're currently working on and ideas that we're considering. If you agree with an idea, rate it and tell us how you see it working. If you don't see it listed, submit it as a new idea. Part of my job in Arlo's product team is to review all these ideas and comments and work with our designers and engineers to bring the best ones to life. We're also keen to hear about how our recently launched features are working for you. If there's anything that you think could be changed, improved, or built out further, this is a great way to let us know. The best part is that if you leave us feedback on an idea, when something changes, like we decide to start developing it, we'll send you an update automatically. You can find the new product feedback portal by visiting this URL. That's the end of this product update. If you have any questions regarding anything you've seen today, please get in touch. These changes, as well as some other minor enhancements, are now live on your platform. I encourage you to give the new features a go and let us know what you think. See ya!